Hey everyone, this is Unlock24 and uh, today I'll show you a just uh, basically a fun deck. I'm not really trying to play in the KC Cup that much. Uh, I already have an invite for the next stage. So uh, the only reason I'm playing now is to go ahead and get the SR tickets and the uh, the gems and uh, all the extra gold that they're giving out. So let me go ahead and collect all of this. SR tickets. Uh, I'll just go ahead and click the zero. Alright, okay, and then what I have for missions. More gems, okay. And let me go ahead and get a, uh, I guess, well, let me go ahead and show you the deck first. So this is the deck that I've, that I've been trying out. Uh, overall, it's, it's decent. I'm not going to tell you like it's a, it's amazing or anything. Uh, I'm just messing around with the concept right now. And it seems to be working. However, uh, it is a little bit inconsistent. And um, like I said, I'm just trying it out. I do need another Cyber Petite Angel. Uh, I haven't had time to grind with um, with, uh, with the character. I can't remember her name. Uh, but anyways, so I'm running uh, one Sofita, Queen of Dragons. Three Dakinis. One Idaten. Two Bentons, two Sonic Birds, three Senju, uh, one Petite, three Absolute Rituals, two Sprite Blessings, uh, and one Machine Angel Ritual. So basically, uh, the Sprite Blessing is basically another copy of the Absolutes, uh, and then of course you get the the one that's restricted to one Machine Angel Ritual, and a single Trap card with uh, Attack Well. Now I think I'm gonna try another version with just straight up ritual monsters and then straight up uh ritual cards and see how it works out it's just a concept that i have in my head right now i don't really uh, have it planned out but I, I think i will give it a try and see if it works uh with like the three sephiras i mean let's see three sephiras and then two uh benton and then keep the uh, maybe two two die I, I, I don't know i'll have to look at it and see what exactly this i can uh, i can do it but i'm uh, i do want to try it out and see if it'll work um, I have seen other like builds uh, where they try to do that, but I I don't know if uh, if this particular version is gonna work. I'm barely in fourteen. Like I said, I haven't really uh, I haven't had much time to play. And let me exchange this ticket, and then we'll get into the replays. All right. So which one? Casey Cup R ticket, rank to S R ticket. I think this is one. Let's see what what do I want. <clears throat> I don't know what I want. What were the new cards? I can't remember where the new cards were. I was a solemn, I think. <laughs> oh, I'm definitely gonna add this guy here. Yeah, that's that's what I want. Uh, let's see if, uh, yeah. Yeah, that's definitely what I'm, what does this do? I think it was just an equip, right? Yeah. Give only to a normal monster. Alright, so yeah, that's what definitely what I'm getting. So confirm. Yes. Okay. Go back. And uh, here are the, the replays. So overall, like I said, uh, not really high level yet, or I haven't really had much time to uh, play the KC Cup. I think I'm like, I think it was like 9 or 10 where I'm at. And uh, so what I think I'm going to do for the giveaway is, uh, again, I'm going to go ahead and set the goal for uh, for 15,000. Uh, and we'll have until the very last day uh, of this year. And we get to 15,000 subscribers. Uh, on the next day, I'll select one of the subscribers and uh, uh, I'll give it. Uh, I'll give the the Xbox away, and uh, uh, I'll try to figure out uh, the whole. I haven't had time to like figure out exactly the uh, all the specifics and the terms and conditions uh, as to where uh, or how exactly I'm gonna do it. Uh, I do need to, uh, or it does need to be somewhere where I can mail to. So if you're somewhere that, that there's not like a post office or something, uh, I, don't, I don't know, or if there's no way for me to mail it to you. Uh, so I'll just have to drop the, the terms and conditions, I guess. Uh, and once I do that, I guess I'll put it in a uh, on Patreon or something. I, I don't know yet. I haven't thought about it. But uh, if you want, if you want to go ahead and uh, you know subscribe, if you're not a subscriber yet. Uh, do subscribe, and uh, hopefully we get to fifteen thousand by the end of the year.
I played against Magnet, so nothing, nothing major. And basically, uh, the deck runs itself as long as you know like what uh, what to do and when to do it. Like for example, when to activate Absolute instead of the regular Angel or the other thing, it's, you should be fine. And for uh, for Zafira, the effect that I'm always using is to discard uh, a card from the opponent. That's basically my uh, my go-to effect: discard one card from the opponent's hand. And uh, hopefully we can get like Don Salug here in the next box or so, and maybe some uh, some Mystic Tomatoes, so we can do like a hand control deck. So basically, the only type of decks that I that I like to win, well, no, I can't say that, because I, I I do like that one. I do enjoy to play most of the decks. The only decks that uh, that I really don't care too much for are kind of the burn decks. But other than that, I, I'm fine playing everything else. And but I just can't stand playing burns. That's just really boring to me, I guess. <clears throat> Right, this guy. Uh, I don't think he's running, uh, running the. What is it? The not Leviathan. The uh, the Levia Dragon Neo De uh, Daedalus. I think it is. I don't think he's running it, and uh, he he can't really do much of anything. And here, just try to get rid of the uh, all the tokens, and I didn't destroy the. Uh, the monster with uh, with Sephira because uh, it could have been a Yomi ship and I, I didn't want to get rid of the, the Sephira. Uh, I could discard a monster and I did discard well, what was the uh, uh, this guy. I discarded one copy of it, region. And here I could just go ahead and uh, activate the Absolute and just get rid of everything and then attack. And uh, I think the uh, the Cyber Angel deck, I think it still needs to get nerfed a little bit more. It's it's still actually really really good. Uh, I, I don't know, maybe they they need to take out to make it to where Absolute goes to two. But even that, it'll still make it to where the deck is playable. So um, I don't I don't know. What do you guys think? What what should get restricted in this deck? Because I think it's still really really good, and it should be like a top deck. So. And uh, uh, I don't know. I think maybe the Kinis need need to go to one, uh, or I don't know what else they could restrict. Just the Kini to one, because I think that the Kini is the, the primary problem, because it just destroys a ton of ba uh, monsters, basically just by being summoned, uh, and then you get a free plus one when she's out on the field or she survives for that turn. So the Kini does need to go to one, I think. Like in order for the for uh, for the deck to be not as OP as it is. Right, and surprise blessings actually, it's it's a decent card. It's a, basically another absolute ritual, and uh, I don't see why uh, not uh, more people are running it instead of the. Uh, I guess the other two copies of the Angel Ritual. And here I, I don't I'm not sure why he enemy controller that again. Uh, these are like really really low rank games. And then for this you can just go ahead and attack. Alright, so for the replays, I think that's going to be it for today. I uh, don't want this to be a long video. Uh, if you have any questions or comments or if you want to go ahead and see uh, a specific gameplay of a specific deck, uh, do let me know and uh, I'll go ahead and try my best to go ahead and get it done. Or uh, I'm not going to end it there because I think this uh, this last two that were uh, really good against a, uh, a Phoenix deck. But uh, yeah, do let me know whether you want to see specific gameplay of a specific deck. And if I have the cards for it, I'll go ahead and build it and uh, and uh, show you uh, how the deck plays and what my opinions are on it.
And most of the time, I, I when I start out with Senjus and Sonic Birds, I don't want to start out with the uh, with the rituals or the monsters. Then I just ended my turn. There was really n nothing else to do. Didn't want to go ahead and activate the the ritual just yet. I wanted to get as much uh, uh, out of the cards as possible, and uh, by just taking some damage, uh, I'm able to do that. And most of the time, just because I can do something, I'm just I'm not just gonna do it. I, I do uh, try to get the most out of the cards. That's another Dakini, and I think I, after this I can just go ahead and attack for game. Yeah, so he I guess he didn't have a Phoenix, or I'm not sure what his back row was, but uh, this one's a little bit better. I think this guy's almost Phoenix twice. Alright, and, and I am going second, so I'm going to start out with five cards. And with this deck, you can either start first or second, doesn't really matter, there's really no preference. And here I think it just Windstorm, yeah, just at the Windstorm and end. And here I'm just trying to go uh, as plus as possible. Uh, again, not really activating anything just yet. Uh, and I could have just uh, went into uh, the Zafira and get the uh, the uh, the sprites with the Sonic Bird, but I decided against it. But I do get a uh, his sprites blessing, so I can go ahead and activate it. Meant to activate to get a a, a petite angel. Or a cyber petite angel, not a petite angel. And then I can go ahead and um, ch uh, machine angel ritual after this. And then uh, next turn I should be able to go ahead and Dakini again since I do have Dakini or uh, hoping that my Dakini survives. And here he attacks but I do have a, 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 the, uh, the ritual card in the graveyard so it doesn't matter. And that's the reason I attacked, because it, did, it didn't really matter what he had. And he does destroy the second phoenix. But I can go ahead and attack for 25. I activate the effect. I get the petite angel back. So just a ton of advantage out of this deck. Alright, beat down, but really doesn't really do much of anything. And here you can just absolute and then basically his game because he doesn't really have anything all right and there it is so let me go ahead and show you the deck one more time so you can go ahead and screenshot it or do whatever it is that you need to do uh, and I always forget to click that deck editor instead of going out but here it is one Zafira, three Dakinis, one Id uh, Idaten uh, two Benton, two Sonic Birds, three uh, Senjus, one uh, Petite Cyber Angel, uh, the three Absolutes, two Sprite Blessings, and one Machine Angel Ritual with a Windstorm. Uh, the, uh, I'm, I can't really tell you how good this deck is going to be in higher ranks, but um, if you're just barely starting, it's, just, it's an, a, like an absolute monster of a deck, uh, and there's not that many things that can go up against it. Uh, if your opponent is playing like a, a Gladiator Beast deck, maybe you might have it kind of tough. But uh, uh, other than that, you shouldn't have any problems. But that's it for today. Again, go ahead and do subscribe if you, if you haven't uh, already. And uh, I guess I'll see you guys next time.